Hello, and welcome to Queen's Crafts by Bridget. I'm Bridget. Thank you for joining me today. Whether you're new here or you've been around since my very beginning, I truly appreciate you coming by and spending some time with me. Today we are here for Stash Down 2024, but first I'm going to grab the names and let you know who's going in the cauldron from our last video. I almost forgot about that part. So, for our last video, which was the cauldron winner for the month, the winner has not contacted me yet. She has one more day to do so. Hopefully she will. If she does not, we will draw again. So, for this month, the first person that's going in is Barb Jarvie. We have Quilty Crocheter and Softball Susie. Thank you for your comments and keep them coming. You can win as, or you can go in as many times as you're lucky enough to get picked. And since it's been so much fun doing so, again in March, later on in the month, I will pick a friend, tell you some hints, and then see if you can figure out who it is. If you can figure it out, you definitely get a entrance to the cauldron. Now, what we're really here for, Stash Down 2024. You want to know what I got done this month, right? Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm also going to let you know that, unfortunately, I could not find anyone uh, that is participating. Um, as far as subscribers that emailed me this month, that is fine. You can, you're free to start and stop whenever you can. Um, whenever you choose to and if you search hashtag stash down 2024 you can find all my video friends that also are participating in stash down i don't want to name anybody because last month i forgot somebody and i felt really bad for leaving them out so i think it's just safer with my memory and the fact that my friends do not have to participate every month to just say, go ahead and search that Stash Down 2024 hashtag and you can find them or you can check my Stash Down 2024 playlist and look and if I have found that video already, it will be in that playlist whether it is from me or one of my friends. So, for this month, the first thing I have wrote down is my wrap that my friend over here is holding. Now this is the prize for the month unless she chooses to uh, get yarn. And this wrap took, uh, let's see, two full balls at 224 uh, yards, five ounces. And it also took six ounces of Red Heart Super Saver from my grandma's stash. So it was a total of 11 ounces. Awesome. I'm going to let my girlfriend hold on to that again. And then we have the Granny Square uh, Scarf and the granny square hat that will be going over to my friend Allie to participate in her uh, charity event. That took 6.5 ounces. I used two cakes. They were mystery cakes that a friend of mine had sent me in the past, and I think that they're going to be wonderful for someone in need of something warm. And then we have the granny chevron blanket. Oh, the wrap, I'm sorry, was part of Mama G Gear's monochromatic make-along. I will link Mama G Gear. If you do not know her, please do go check her out. And I believe she's doing a make-along this month again. I have not gotten over to check her video yet to find out what that is. But you might want to check it out. So go ahead and go over to her and find out what she's got going on. Now this next one. Oops was the Granny Square uh, Ripple 
um, blanket or chevron blanket and that was a make along hosted by my friend Mel over at Lathalia's Little Hook. Again, I will excuse me link her down in the description box below <laughs> so that you can go over and check out Mel if you have not already. Um, Mel and I guess Mama G were doing this together. Mel was trying to teach Mama G how to read a pattern and she thought well while I'm teaching Mama G let me teach a few others of out here on the YouTube street. So she made it a make along that you were learning to read a pattern with. Mine took four cakes plus some black. Let's see, we have 240 yards or uh, five ounces times four plus the scraps. We got 836 grams, 7.6 ounce or one pound, 7.6 ounces. I can't do the exact yardage because I do not know. And then on top of that, we had the Impkin Along hosted by Sam at Memphis Makes and Amanda at Obsessive, <laughs> Obsessive Crochet Lady. I'm giving myself all kinds of work to do and links to put in the description box. Hopefully you guys will go and check them out. They're awesome. They are doing a year-long collab with the M. Kim book. Please do go over and check their videos to get full details. I don't want to mess it up, so I'm going to leave it to the ladies to explain it to you. But... I made my Imkin, and here he is, just in case you didn't get a chance to see him in a, my previous video. Now, I did um, do my own thing for his scarf, so I'm also going to include this in a I Made It My Way make-along that is hosted by myself. If you don't know what that is, please do check the previous video and I will be talking about it again in an update video very, very soon. Okay, so for the Impkin, he was all of 76 grams or 2.7 ounces. So for the grand total for February, we have 12,000. Or 1,247 grams, or the equivalent of 44 ounces. Um, in balls of yarn uh, reference, that would be 12 and a half hanks of yarn this month. Not too shabby considering everything I had going on in February is a short month. I'm quite pleased with those numbers, and I can only hope that March will look just as good if not even better but no pressure if it doesn't happen we can just do the best that we can so and remember this is not a competition this is not for anyone to compare or contrast what other people are doing because you remember stash down products are only from stash things made from stash that were in your stash prior to the first of the year so someone that's doing stash down may make something out of brand new yarn. They may also purchase yarn. They can do whatever they please. Whatever makes their crafty heart beat and dance is what makes us happy over here. The stash down was just a little way of doing something fun to encourage using the yarn that we bought because we loved it when we bought it. So Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you will come back and see what kind of crafty shenanigans I'm up to next. And maybe next month you'll participate in Stash Down as well. You're more than welcome to it anytime. You just have to shoot me an uh, email by the 5th or by the 4th of the month fourth of the month for your stats of the previous month and I will include you in the stash down videos if you do your own thing I or if you do your own videos um just hashtag stash down 2024 
and your video is due by the 5th of the month. But of course, if you're a smidgy bit late or a smidgy bit early, absolutely no big deal. You do it when you have time. I just thought that that way everybody knows by the 5th of the month they can search that hashtag stash down 2024 and find all the lovely creators that have participated. All right. Until next time, I truly hope that you are crafting your happiness. And bye for now. So I'm just going to slide this in somewhere in the video. Um, I wanted to show you this yarn because it's going off to the person it was made for in the morning. And I won't have it here, so I won't be able to show you. So I'm just going to sneak this into some video uh, prior to the end. <laughs> uh some somewhere in some video anyways but i wanted to show you this in case the person that receives it does not want to do a video which is of course fine with me my presents do not come with a video clause now this was made with a specific person in mind from the dye to the finished product i'm hoping she loves it as much as i think she will i'm pretty sure she will now, I'll show you, Ooh, go this way, how nice and thin this is. I will have to um, figure out the yardage before I send it off to her, but um, I'm guessing around 380 to 420, somewhere around in there. And here is the mini that we got. As you can see, there was basically just one color left. And I was actually very, very surprised that the thicker bits that I, um, because this is a fractal spin, let me explain. I take half of the fiber and split it down in half. And then the second half of the fiber, I spun down, I broke it down into eight strips so generally when i'm spinning it's a little easier to stay more consistent more thin when it's the thinner strips however this time that truly changed quite a bit um i was as you can see able to get quite a you know quite a little distance more out of the half that i did just two uh two pieces with so i'm quite pleased with that. That means that I am getting a little better at controlling the amount of fiber that comes out at once, no matter how much fiber I have in my hand. So I am very pleased with those results. All right. One last little, woo -hoo -hoo, isn't that beautiful? And I'm going to get out of here.